the Starting Five, a DraftKings production, live from the compound, where we sit down with the NBA's most relevant culture crafters for in-depth conversations you won't get anywhere else. The Starting Five, live from the compound. Peace, what up, my guy? What's good with you? Welcome to the compound, my brother. Got your brother here. How you doing, baby? What's up, daddy? Have a seat, good brother. Thank you, sir. No, I told him, man. Welcome to the compound. What you think about the place, man? It's love cool. it. Beautiful. So let's go. Let's go into football, man. Like, let's talk about that. Was your first love, right? Right. How, how special was you seeing your career? Because to me, the, I only seen the highlights. Right. But you was just as nice in that as ball. Like, how how special was it knowing that you had those skills in football? Like people say that I'm crazy when I say <laughs> I was better. You know what I mean? Like in in football, I ain't fibbing at all. You know what I mean? To see. Yeah, yeah, like right. like like people in Virginia, like they will tell you like y'all don't understand. Like he was different in football. You know what I mean? And I, you know, wholeheartedly believe that. Like you know what I mean? Like I ain't just patting myself on the back. I really wanted people to see what I could have been. I might, I probably even lift weights. If I would have kept playing, <laughs> <laughs> if I, I would have kept playing basketball, if football, you know what I mean? Like, I was better in football than when I was. When did you have to make the decision? I went. I got locked up. Um, <clears throat> I got locked up in high school, and I was recruited by every college in the in the in the country. You know what I mean for football? I was the number one high school player in the country. In basketball and football, I got in trouble in in high school, and then um, once that happened, um, like every school, every school stopped recruiting me. Every school, you know what I mean. I ain't, I didn't I have no options, you know what I mean. And um, my mom went to Georgetown and begged Coach Thompson to save my life, to give me an opportunity, to give me a chance, and he did it, and here we are. So it, it wasn't a choice that I had, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, I, I, and, and another story, um, I remember, I remember like I had to pass the football field to get to practice. <laughs> 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 to, get, to get to practice every day, you know what I mean? Um, and uh, man, I used to, I used to cry. Like every time, like to where it got so bad to where I had to take the long, the long the, route, yeah, well, all the way to yeah, the gym. Like, you know what I mean? To the see. gym, man. I, every day, I, I like until I got tired of it. I was like, Fuck it, man, I'm just gonna take the long route. Take the long route. You know what I mean? So I don't have to um, be reminded of what I really wanted to do. And I remember um, I went in there one day, like, Coach, man, I want to play football, like. What you think? I can't even express the vulgar language <laughs> in which he, he told me. Yeah, and, and, and from that point, I never thought about playing again. football again. <laughs> like, from, from, yo, from that point on, I never, you know, thought about it Look again. Back. I never looked back on it. I never regret it. Never, you know what I mean? I even, bro, I sent flowers to the judge, mm. you know what I mean, yeah, when he died, absolutely. to his family. Mm. Mm. It was God's plan. You, you can't stop it. You couldn't, you couldn't stop it. You can't stop it. That's a fact. You know what I mean? That's why I love, like, I just love being me. Mm. I love being who I am. I love who, I love the people that love me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Except like, you for who you are. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cause I'm, 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 I'm I know I'm, a, I'm like I make mistakes. I'm human. Human, human. You know what I mean? Like I'm just like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just like you. There's not nothing evil inside of me. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, 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 I love being who my family and my friends and my fans love. I love that guy. You know what I mean? And I, I thank my mom and my dad all the time because they ain't perfect. Well, 
somebody we know who helped get, get you through this, man, was John Thompson, man. Man, coach. Man, coach saved my life. You know what I mean? Like, I, he would tell you, you know, he'll he'll tell you uh you know he'll tell you, like he did that for me cuz of mommy you know mm. cuz my mom you know what I mean and I used to always joke with him and I'd be like guy was bad too now <laughs> you know what I mean like like the greatest feeling that I ever had was coaching them used to talk in the bathrooms after the games. Mm -hmm. And we had just played Seton Hall. And I had like, I think I had 40. Um, and he was like, that's a bad little motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that motherfucker is incredible. And when Jerry came out and told me that, that's when my confidence level just clicked in. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what took me to a whole nother, that's what made me who I am today. Mm. Mm. One of the illest things, man, being the CNN and living in Philadelphia, your relationship with Philly, man, is it's in Philly, you know it's a hard, it's one of the hardest places, right. I think, in the world. Right. To, to, you know, but you, you embraced Philly all outside of the game. Listen to me, dog. Damn. I don't want to get emotional about them people. It's tough. Yeah. In Philly. But not to me. Like, I, I hear about everything that go on there. and mm -hmm. But that's Newport News. Yeah, that's Hampton, same, Virginia. Yeah, like, it's the same it's place. The same place. It's the same. Man, it's evil. Everywhere. It's everywhere. It's a fact. You know what I mean? And it's beautiful people everywhere. everywhere yeah. You know what I mean? It's beautiful it's everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, this is so crazy, man. The relationship is like, I mean, how long I've been retired? Uh, like 13, <laughs> some shit like that. 13 years, 14, whatever, 14 years, whatever. And it's the same. It's nothing yeah. different. Like it's, 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 the relationship is the same. Like with, yeah, some people, you know, some people died, some people, yep. you know what I mean? Moved on, passed on. Yeah. All that, you know what I mean? But you go there, you see the same people in the relationship mm -hmm. is, it's still the same. Like, like it, it was like we grew up together. Cause I remember they, like they was fucking with me in the beginning. Like they was booing me mm -hmm. and you know what I mean? We, we weren't good. Yep. You know what I mean? They was booing me. I was, I was off the court. I was, getting in bullshit, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, you know, they, they, there was something that they've never seen. The NBA, the world, the world has never seen, seen now, a now. guy just being him, him yep. and cool with it. You know what I mean? Like, cool with being him. What, the, what am I coming to a game, my perspective, as 21 years old, mm -hmm. what am I coming to a game for? When I go play in Rucker Park, I had my diamonds on, mm -hmm. I had my sweatpants on, my do-rag, right. my, you know what I mean? I'm going to play basketball. basketball. I shouldn't be nothing different. You know what I mean? When I, where, where I come from, the only time you're wearing a suit is... Funeral. Court. Funeral. Or church. Or, or church. Yeah. church. yeah. You know what I mean? I'm going, and then after the game, I'm going to Fridays, and then I'm going to the club. Uh, what the, I, I got on, what I got on a suit for? It's no reason. You know what I mean? And then, and then the stereotype is so fucked up in this world and the way people look at shit. You ever seen Reservoir Dogs? Yeah, yeah. All right, so when they robbed their jewelry store, what they have on? Suits. Black top. Uh, yep, clean. shirt, black, black top. shoes. Yeah, black shoes. These motherfuckers are straight killers. <laughs> yeah, all the gangsters are killers. Gangsters. God, Al Capone Godfather, had on a suit fellas. every day. He, John suit. Gotti had on a suit, suit. Heat had on every suit. day. Yeah, the motherfucker cost a lot, but still, he got on a, a suit. suit. So that defined, because I'm dressed like this. Man, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm a better man Being like to this. people 
than your pastor mm -mm. at your church. I'm a better man. I love way harder than you. Don't no man love harder than me, than, than, than I love my family. Do you know how much money I would have if I ain't give a fuck about nobody but me and my family, <laughs> just me and my kids? <laughs> And my and, and my yeah, my real. girl for thirty one years. Yeah. Do you do you, I mean, dog? And I ain't the perfect. I've been with her thirty since I was 15, 16 years old, dog. I've been through a divorce and right back with her months later. Mm -hmm. But I know I know how you love though. I know I'm the best friend. I know I'm the best son. I know I'm the best brother. I know I'm the best teammate. You know what I mean? Like the greatest the greatest compliment that I've ever had being in the NBA is my teammates saying, long as we got him, we, all right. we can beat anybody. Everybody's, man, you took a, this team to the, to the finals. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. man, I, I went with some dogs. Oh, yes. Yeah, you couldn't do it by yourself. Hey, yo, I'm up. Hey, Allen, you go do what you do. You put the ball in the hole. I don't give a damn if you shoot 50 times. Mm. Score enough points for us. They got the rest. Mm. Aaron McKee, Eric Snow, Dikembe, yeah, Theo yeah, Rattler, George, George Lynch. Lynch. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, like Jermaine Jones. They they got the rest. They gonna do everything that you ain't gotta do. Bro, I led. Look, and I and I and I was always. I'm, I'm, I'm go ahead and put it out there. I was always like I ain't never pressed up. Like I used to. I couldn't stand when people pressed up on me because mm. it would make. Like you trying to convince yourself that I'm gonna get in, pause, get in his ass. You know what I mean? Like, it's a fact. you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's when I would hit you with that thing thing. Mm, you know yeah. what I mean? That's when I hit you with like, when, when the pressing up against you, like, are you serious? You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I never, I knew my had handles. So I never pressed up on nobody and tried to be Eric Snow or Aaron yeah. McKee yeah. And, and, and you know what I mean? D like that. Yeah, like yeah. I, I always knew, them, though. Yeah. I always knew yeah. I want no defensive dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? But passing lanes, mm -hmm. yeah. I led the league, I led the league in steals for three years in a row and never made even defense. honorable mention. Oh, all wow. defense. Wow. But look, and let me tell you, the, let me tell you the bias ass shit. Um, Larry Hughes, mm, Larry Hughes did it the year after I did it. Led the league in steals, and he was and first team All NBA. Wow! Wow! So let's talk about the time that when you got in front of Jordan on the court. You know, you was like, now you like, I'm here. So, so the the, the thing with Mike, like I was telling my homeboys, like, yo, like if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna try my move on the best that ever did it. Mm -hmm. And the craziest, shit, if you if you a hoop head, mm -hmm. if you a hoop head, if you think about it, cause I ain't know nothing about. I think I was it was like preliminary stages with the hands up. You mm -hmm. know what I mean with me doing the hands up. If you look at this, shit, if I woulda, I made the shot, but yeah. if I woulda hand if I woulda hand with the hands much. up too, and then brought it back, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It woulda really been crazy. Yeah. But the dopest part about that is if you think about it and you watch the play, he still almost blocked it. He almost recovered. He almost yes, he almost like I hit him with it. Yep, and he still was nah, back on. Maybe you go twice. You could yeah, yeah, you hit him no, twice. No, listen, he listen. Came listen. back. Man, I hope. I hope. Man, because I, I love this dude. I, I love you. When I hit him with the first joint, mm. if 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 you know the move or if if if, if you know anything oh, about who. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I got, got him. him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh. <laughs> That's all I want. And then I'm like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Like now I'm gonna hit him with the real, real. deal. You know what I mean? And I hit him with the shit. Like if you think about all of the hundreds of dudes that I did it to, yeah. they out the picture. Yeah, they gone. Yeah. He was still. He was right there and still almost getting it. Almost, almost blocked it. And I, I, I remember that same night, I was like, you know. You know, I'm starstruck. So the same night yep. that we talking about in Charlotte, I was like, I love you and this, that, and the third, blah, 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 whoop de whoop. And he was like, man, you don't love me like that because you wouldn't cross that. You wouldn't do that to me. You know what I mean? 
basketball without culture, it don't exist, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think people, you was the bastard child for the whole league today, you know, from fashion, just being yourself, jewelry, tats, the list goes on. When you realize, like, wow, I'm just being myself, but the way the game and humans look at me, how did that, how did that make you feel to realize, like, wow, I'm not doing nothing different, but everybody's looking at me for the culture? Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's an honor. That's a fact. First and foremost, that's an honor. I need to be the example of it's okay. To be me. Yeah. Like, it's okay. When I play, like, like you know, I remember Kobe saying, y'all better be glad he ain't 6'6". Six, six. Mm. You know what I mean? Do I wish I could be taller? Do I wish I could have more muscles? Do I wish, <laughs> you know what I mean? Do I wish I had more money? Do I wish, yes. Of course. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You know what I mean? But, like, mm. you blessed to be who we are. You. Man, that's a gift. So let, let's go into... Like I said, all these different cultural moments in hip hop is, you know, you was, I think before people knew your love, if they didn't know you even listened to hip hop, they could see it on you. Mm -hmm. You know, when you walked in the game, the building, it was, hip hop was just there. You look like hip hop. He, he, you was, you he was, hip -hop. you is hip hop. You was right. the first definition of hip hop in sports. Just talk about, I mean, cause a lot of people, you know, even you was an MC, you know, it, it, you, that, you was an MC too. That what you want to call it? I mean, you, 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 you that was one of my most embarrassing moments, <laughs> for real. Like but, when I look back on it, like, and then motherfuckers like I go somewhere that. and they try to play it, and I'd be so embarrassed, like yo, cut that shit off, man. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Let, let Jason do that, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he said, I don't know what I was thinking about. That ain't, the, man, he, he gave me a lot. That's part of growing up. Uh, yeah, I, it, it I, wasn't, I definitely recognize it. it and was. I did it for Ra. I did it for Ra and E. You know, they, they, were, they were, like, they taught me. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I was doing it for them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, you know, like, and Universal was like, okay, we'll do something with you. They ain't never heard me. You know, hear me rap well, at all. Ever. Yeah. And got that deal. Mm -hmm. Wow. But so David Stern was like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. when he, when I did it mm -hmm. and he called me here and I had to sit there and take it. And yet, but I had to listen to him Play recite the lyric. The lyrics. Oh, that is He was different. reading it off the page. Yes. He read it to you. Oh. Yes. I was sitting there, I was like, yo. <laughs> that shit. Um, I was so embarrassed. You know what I mean, but that ain't you know. It's a lesson. It's not. Yeah, a it was. It was. It was definitely. It was definitely a lesson. I mean, it's, it's so many moments through your career, like you know, the 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 slam cover to the. To, I think it's probably the number one cover of culture. When you think of like after that, you go, um, Stephon Marbury and KG looking like a rap group. They had the chains. On. They mm -hmm. theirs was before yours, I think. Um, but when 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 you got was that your idea to, to take the hair out and do the slam cover or was that something that came? Cause it seemed like you live it always that it ain't no creative director. Yeah, no, nah, it, it was, it was, it was um, um, the girl that was supposed to do my hair was late. Mm. So I was like, shit, I gotta do it like this. So, <laughs> so it wasn't even, was it doctor? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. It wasn't even the doctor. Mm. Cause that's, that was fine. That, 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 yeah. was, you... See, we, everybody who sees that thinks it was about doc. No. Nah. And you, cause you had the Mitchell and Dr. J jersey on, right? You I mean, I was trying, I, I, you know, I, I thought about that part. Okay, like, gotcha. You know, um, I was like, you know, damn, I can just, I, I know me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I know I probably was like, man, I'm just, I just do some Dr. J, you know, <laughs> some Dr. Yeah. J, you know what I mean? Like, that's how I, I know I probably was thinking, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, nah, it's a fuck fight. it, you know what I mean? She ain't here, we got to do it. So Take it out, let it let it do what it do. Let's rock and roll. Nah, it's, it was already out, cause I was waiting on her to to get busy. Mm, and you just said let's shoot it. Yeah. Nah, it's um. I mean, the list for for me culturally and like being a, like a, just a student in the game and culture is so many things. Literally, I think I was 
watching the game last night and it's a practice commercial with like a real estate company now. Like, yeah, you, I, seen, I, saw, I saw that. You seen that? I said they, they, I had, they had somebody looking like he was in BBD talking about practice. Yeah. <laughs> like when you, I mean, now it's, it's way years past. Did you, did you ever think this would be an iconic moment of an interview? Like, cause you now. Know, no, I was crushed at that that's time. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I was, I was like my best friend. Yeah, had, passed um, away. Yeah, just got murdered, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, and then like, it was supposed to be, what was, what was so hurtful, it was supposed to be a celebration, mm. uh, a press conference. It was Coach and Billy King, the general manager. Yeah, and they were like, look, you ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? Like, let's squash this shit and move forward. I'm happy as much. Cool. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. happy. Okay, let's call this press conference yep. so I can tell my fans, I can tell the world. I'm here. I I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Yep. And when I got up there, they just kept saying stuff about, like, this ain't <laughs> what we're here for. Well, yeah. Like, but they kept talking. They kept like, going, this, going this, down that line. third about practicing. And I wish, I wish I could have had an <laughs> opportunity to, cause, cause um, the, the, my PR people, Karen, shout out to Karen, I love you. She was um, telling me like, come on, man. You know what I mean? And I was like, nah, I ain't, I ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? And um, I wish I could have had the opportunity to respond the way I really wanted to respond instead of being emotional, you know what I mean? Um, but I was, I would have been like, yo, how the f can I not practice right, yeah. and be who, who I, am. I am? Yeah. Like, how do you become great without practice? Like, are you serious? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, all right. There's no way y'all And I didn't, I, didn't I, I just reacted. I was just, I was just so, cause it was supposed to be in a, it's like, it, it was supposed to be a great moment and yep. then it turned into- Went left. Yeah. It's just a testament to who you are that you, you never run from an emotion or being who Hell you are. Hell no. But, but think about how many people don't do that. That's them. Yeah, it's a fact. That's them. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. Yep. That's them. Yep. Like, like we've been talking about all this time. Be you. Be you. Be, it, it ain't nothing wrong with it. If, 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 if you don't show emotions, then okay. <laughs> I mean, that ain't, that ain't no knock on your character. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, man, I love hard. I'm passionate. You know what I mean about what you love. What I love, and it's and and I know how hard it is. I, it's hard being a damn superstar. Mm -hmm. So imagine being someone that's not. So when you look at all these things that like we just discussed, and all these cultural and all these different tent poles and pillars, and you see where the league is at now culturally, what do you think? How much the league has grown? Like now you see the fashions on a whole nother level. Just every. The music now there's DJs in the arenas. It's the, you know, it's the Paris Fashion Week before the game. Like, you know, when you look at how how much the league has grown culturally, when you look you, at a lot of the things they banned, they find you and ridicule ridicule you, you yeah. for that now became a thing. How do you feel about Becoming that? The ass whooping was yeah. worth it. Mm. The ass whooping that I took was worth it. Wow. Somebody had to do it. Somebody had to do it. Yeah. Just for everybody to be themselves. Everybody to feel comfortable mm -hmm. in their own skin. It's a fact. I took the ass whooping for it. And for you to acknowledge it, mm -hmm. that means something to me. Like it's an honor for somebody to think of you like that. On that level. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, yo. It's, it's an honor. You know what I mean? It's a super honor. It's dope. It's crazy, you know what I mean? And, and it's just being drafted. But then all of the shit that come with it mm. is just icing on the okay. cake. All you can just say is, you know, man, thank you. Like, you know, thank you, God. When it's all said and done, man, this this the last one we got, man, is when you, the words of you want your legacy to be, What what is that? Like if to the world, like. I just try to be the best me, the best version of me. I just try to be the best version of me. Gave it all I had to be me and be a better me. That's it. The starting five.